I like to think that uh, photography discovered me rather than me discovering photography. You know, in my work, I get a front seat to life every day. I get a front seat to history every day. The hottest day of the year, the coldest day of the year, I'm there. I don't have a beat like an officer or a fireman. As a visual servant, my playground is the world. My beat is the world. Every day. Now I get assignments from life itself, assignments from God. I'm really thankful for my, my journey, my photographic journeys from North Carolina to Chicago. But I'm, I'm so thankful for my, my roots and my wings, my parents, my mother, my father, and uh, to be in a family where there were six of us, six children, my first three brothers, and then the one after me, that's four, uh, all became ministers. And there's one church where all my brothers have pastored. And in my home, I have a pew, a little small pew, that was a gift to me from the church. That little pew means much to me. It's a wonderful, holy piece, a sacred place. One of the projects I'm working on uh, is one called Hallelujah, a photographic project of the black church documentary, the church, the church from baptisms to fish, fish fries. It's one of the things that I must do for the world is to give the world the gift of, uh, of, of love through the eyes of the camera, the eyes of the heart. One of the things that comforts my heart or my soul uh, is to feel that I can have this daily intimacy with the Holy Spirit and to see it and feel it in what I do, in my work. And I look for uh, miracles and I can see the hand of God clearly in everything. There are times when I'm out and I see the clouds and it's like a voice says, uh, John, why these clouds are for you. And I simply just turn and look and I capture those. But I know that when I capture those, they're not for me. I, I am the tool or the vessel. And so that makes me thankful because what I can do in 125th of a second will last a lifetime in the hearts and minds of those who see it. And then they can see the hand of God through my work. You know, I know what it's like to uh, see life and death, and I know what it's like to have a gun pointed at you. I've had that experience. Um, but I, 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 just as much as I've seen that fear and things like that, uh, no one has seen love greater than I have. And so, I hope that if there's something I can give the world or it's a little love, I just try to do on a daily basis. And I look forward to tomorrow and say, okay, God, what's, what we got? what's on the syllabus for today?